Monitoring water quality in fish culture systems is an important management tool often overlooked or neglected by new and beginning fish farmers. This can be detrimental to your bottom line because water quality can determine not only how well fish grow in an aquaculture operation, but whether or not they survive. Knowledge of testing procedures and interpretation of results are important skills for the fish farmer. Knowing your unique water chemistry profile can help you avoid or lessen the effects of critical water quality problems. This can improve profit potential through increased feed conversion efficiency and reduced aeration expenses. The importance of each parameter, the determination method and frequency of monitoring depends upon the type and rearing intensity of the production system used. Ponds tend to be much more forgiving than recirculating aquaculture systems. It is important to develop a production profile for each pond or system. To do this, measure your most important parameters daily or weekly and chart your results. In this way, you become familiar with the water quality of your system. The major water quality factors most likely to be important to fish farmers are dissolved oxygen, temperature, nitrite, and ammonia. Others such as pH, alkalinity, and hardness affect fish, but usually are not directly toxic. Regardless of frequency, monitoring should be conducted at a standard time and depth where fish are located. Time of measurement and observed values should be recorded. Good record keeping is essential to successful aquaculture. In pond and cage culture, it is preferable to monitor dissolved oxygen early in the morning. That is when dissolved oxygen levels are at their lowest and conditions stressful to fish are most likely to occur. Conversely, temperature and pH in ponds are best measured during the late afternoon, when they are both at their highest and have the most negative impact on the fish. It is recommended that dissolved oxygen and temperature be monitored daily. This information should be recorded on a graph or chart like this one so that management decisions about feed and aeration can be made. Ammonia, nitrite, and pH can be measured weekly in pond systems or daily in recirculating aquaculture systems. Alkalinity and hardness can be measured less frequently, perhaps one or two times per month, as they do not fluctuate as rapidly. These measurements should also be recorded so that changes in trends can be easily detectable. A variety of methods are available to monitor water quality. In pond, cage, and low intensity culture, the high precision of sophisticated analytical methods is not needed to make informed management decisions. However, intensive culture and recirculating and reuse systems requires frequent and sophisticated monitoring. Several suppliers produce kits and materials to monitor water quality. Easy to use water quality test kits which can perform these tests for fish farmers, cost approximately $100 to $500. Lightweight pocket testers are also available for some parameters.